launched by Iran-backed militants sparked a huge fire at the world's largest oil processing facility and the major oil field in Saudi Arabia in the early hours of this morning. The fires at ABQAIQ in Bukak, which contains the world's largest oil processing plant, and Karay, which contains the country's second largest oil field have now been brought under control since the drone attacks at 4.00 am local time. Tensions are running high in the region after attacks in June and July on oil tankers in Gulf waters that Riyadh and Washington blamed on Iran. A military spokesman for Yemen's Houthi rebels, considered an Iranian proxy force in the region, has claimed responsibility for today's attacks on ABQAIQ in Karay, two major facilities in eastern Saudi Arabia run by state-owned oil giant Aramco. Houthi fighters in Yemen have previously launched attacks over the border, hitting Sheba oil field with drones last month and two oil pumping stations in May. Both attacks caused fires but did not disrupt production. Yahya Sari announced that the Houthis were taking responsibility for the attacks on Saturday in a televised address carried by the Houthis' Al Mazra satellite news channel. He said the Houthis sent 10 drones to attack an oil processing facility in Bukhak and the Karay oil field. He warned attacks by the rebels against the kingdom would only get worse if the war in Yemen continues. Sari said the only option for the Saudi government is to stop attacking us. Iran denies supplying the Houthis with weapons. Although the UN, the West and Gulf Arab nations say Tehran does. Drone models nearly identical to those used by Iran have been used by the rebels. Saudi Arabia's oil production and exports have been disrupted, said three sources familiar with the matter. One of the sources said the attacks have impacted 5 million barrels per day of oil production, almost half the kingdom's current output. The source did not elaborate. Saudi Aramco operates the world's largest oil processing facility and crude oil stabilization plant in the world at ABQAIQ, in eastern Saudi Arabia. The plant has a crude oil processing capacity of more than 7 million barrels per day. Yemen's Houthi rebels previously launched drone assaults deep inside Saudi Arabia. The attack also likely will heighten tensions further across the wider Persian Gulf amid a confrontation between the US and Iran over its unraveling nuclear deal with world powers. Saudi Aramco describes its ABQAIQ oil processing facility in Bukhak as the largest crude oil stabilization plant in the world. The facility, which processes sour crude oil into sweet crude, then later transports onto transshipment points on the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea, has been targeted in the past by militants. Al-Qaeda claimed suicide bombers tried but failed to attack the oil complex in February 2006. A Saudi-led coalition has been battling Houthi rebels since March 2015. The Iranian-backed Houthis hold Yemen's capital, Sana'a, and other territory in the Arab world's poorest country. The violence has pushed Yemen to the brink of famine and killed more than 90,000 people since 2015, according to the U.S.-based Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project Baragold, which tracks the conflict. Since the start of the Saudi-led war, Houthi rebels have been using drones in combat. The first appeared to be off-the-shelf, hobby kit-style drones. Later. Versions nearly identical to Iranian models turned up. The rebels have flown drones into the radar arrays of Saudi Arabia's Patriot missile batteries, according to conflict armament research, disabling them and allowing the Houthis to fire ballistic missiles into the kingdom unchallenged. The Houthis launched drone attacks targeting Saudi Arabia's crucial east-west pipeline in May as tensions heightened between Iran and the US. In August, 
Houthi drone struck Saudi Arabia's Sheba oil field, which produces some 1 million barrels of crude oil a day near its border with the United Arab Emirates. UN investigators said the Houthis' new UAVX drone, found in recent months during the Saudi-led coalition's war in Yemen, likely has a range of up to 930 miles. That puts the far reaches of both Saudi Arabia and the UAE in range. The Houthis' Al Mazra satellite news channel did not immediately acknowledge the attack Saturday, though it said the spokesman of the Houthis' armed forces would soon give a speech on a major operation, without elaborating. The incident represents the latest assault on a state-owned energy giant as it prepares for a much-anticipated stock listing. The Interior Ministry said in a statement carried by the official Saudi press agency at 4.00am the industrial security teams of Aramco started dealing with fires at two of its facilities in ABQAIQ in Korea as a result of drones. The two fires have been controlled. The statement added that an investigation had been launched after the attack in the kingdom's eastern province but did not specify the source of the drones. Last month, an attack claimed by Yemen's Houthi rebels sparked a fire at Aramco Sheba natural gas liquefaction facility, close to the Emirati border, but no casualties were reported by the company. In recent months, the Houthi rebels have carried out a spate of cross-border missile and drone attacks targeting Saudi air bases and other facilities in what it says is retaliation for a Saudi-led air war on rebel-held areas of Yemen. ABQAIQ facility, located 37 miles southwest of Aramco's Duran headquarters, is home to the company's largest oil processing plant, according to its website. In an attack claimed by Al-Qaeda in February 2006, suicide bombers with explosive-laden vehicles attempted to penetrate the ABQAIQ oil processing plant, killing two security guards. The two bombers also died in the attack, which failed to breach the compound, authorities reported at the time. In 2014, a Saudi court sentenced a man to death for links to the 2006 attack. Two other Saudis were jailed for 33 and 27 years respectively, state media reported. Karay, 155 miles from Dharan, hosts a major Aramco oil field. Tensions in the Gulf have soared since May, with U.S. President Donald Trump calling off airstrikes against Iran at the last minute in June after it downed a U.S. drone. The United States and Saudi Arabia have also blamed Iran for multiple attacks on tankers in the Gulf. The latest attacks come as Saudi Arabia, the world's top crude exporter accelerates preparations for a much-anticipated initial public offering of Aramco. The mammoth IPO forms the cornerstone of a reform program envisaged by the kingdom's de facto ruler Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, a son of King Salman, to wean the Saudi economy off its reliance on oil. Aramco is ready for a two-stage stock market debut including an international listing very soon, its CEO Amin Nasser told reporters on Tuesday, 